Hey, Riley. How are you today? Good. Are you good? All right. Let me tell you what we're going to do today. All right. Today, we are going to learn how to blend, delete, and substitute phonemes in, in, in words to make new words. So if I have a word, if I say this to you, I say, what, eh, b. What would that be? What, what, eh, b. What, eh, Web. 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 You got it. All right, what if I have 10, T-I-N, 10, and I get rid of the T? What's that word become? N. Good. All right, what if I have the word hot, and I get rid of the H, and it becomes a G? What's it become? Jot. What else does G say? It says got. got. What? Got. got. Good job. Okay. All right, to warm up. Here's what we're going to do first. All right, I'm going to say a sentence, and I'm going to give you some erasers. And for each word you hear, you're going to move an eraser up. Remember, we did this last time, okay? So I don't think you're going to have a hard time. You think this is easy or hard? Is that easy? Good. Okay. All right, I'm going to give you a sentence, and you're going to move an eraser for each word you hear. Are you ready? The man is tall. Oh wait, hang on. Hang on, let's start over. Alright, so I'm just going to give you a few. So each word you hear. The, the man. The Oh wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Do one, one eraser at a time, remember? So let me do one and then you'll do one. The, the pumpkin is orange. So how many words was it? The pumpkin is orange. Four words, yep. Yeah. Alright, now you try. The man is tall. How many words? Four. Four. One, two, three, four. The man is tall. Alright, good. Alright, I'm going to give you a new one. I am here. I am here. Good job. Third, how many was it? Three. Three. All right. The dog has a bone. I'm giving you a hard one this time. The, the dog, dog has a bone. Good job. That wasn't hard at all for you. All right. Do it again for me. The, the dog has a bone. Good job. Okay. My hat is blue. My how many words? Four. All right, my hat is, is blue. All right, good job. All right, here's one more. She, she will go. She will go. Joy. Good, good job. All right, now we're going to work on rhyme production. So when I say a word, you're going to say a word that rhymes with the word I said. Are you ready? All right. Deer. Deer. Okay. Feet. Feet. Good. Zoo. Zoo. Good. Yell. Uh, Yell. Well. Well. Okay. Hit. Hit. Bit. Good job. That was a very good job. You got all those. Okay. All right. The next thing that we're going to work on is, uh, remember how in the beginning I told you we were going to um, learn how to blend and delete and substitute phonemes to make a new word? Okay, so we're working with sounds, okay? So if I say, puh, ick, oh, what's that word? Puh, ick, all right, listen to me, hang on just a second, puh, ick, oh, puh, ick. You're close. Pick. Pick. Oh. You said pick earlier, right? What do you hear at the end? Oh. Pick. Oh. Pick. Oh. Pick. Oh. 
Hip. If you had an all to the end, what's it become? Hip. Pig? All. Hip. Pig. What does it become? You eat it. Peach. Huh? Huh? Ick. All. Huh? Ick. Pale? All. Pale? Uh -uh. Say pick. Pick and it ends with all. Pick. Pale. Pick. All. Pick. Pickle. Pickle. You got it. All right. That was kind of hard. Was it kind of hard for you? Okay. All right. F or. K. Fork. Fork. Good. You got that one. K. A. M. P. K. A. M. P. K. K. A. K. A. You're close. But you got the middle section wrong. K A M K A M P. You go somewhere. Pap. Oh, you're close. Add a, there's a M mm in there. K A M P. K A M P. Powerstone? K A M P. You might do this on the 4th of July. You go. It's where you stay someone, somewhere else. Like you may stay in a tent or you might. You're going to. Clamp. What? Clamp. You're close. Camp. 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 Like you go camp. Yep. Okay. All right. The next one. All right. S n a k. Snake. Good. All right. W a n t. W a n t. W a n t. W a w e t. Got it. w e t Good job. All right. Said w e t Oh, you said w e t Oh no, that wasn't it. Try it again. W went. Went. Yeah. W it. Good. Went. All right. All right. Now I got a worksheet I'm going to let you look, look at. You can get your pencil because you're going to need it. All right. All right. This is we're on these, these one, two, three, four. On these four, we're going to substitute letters to make a new word. All right. So what is this? That's a what? Pan. It's a what? What is that? It's Pot. A pot. 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 Okay, what if we change the T to a P? So write a P there. What does it become? P A. If we change the pot. T to a P, pot. And we change that T to a P, it becomes hot. All right, sound it out. P. P. All right, we're just pot. changing the T. So the PA is the same. PA, that's pot. pot. But it becomes PA. If we add a P, it becomes what? PA. Pop. Pop. Good. All right, let's try this one. What word is this? Dog. No, not dog. What is he doing? What do you see there? He looks like he's what? What is he doing? He is. What does a dog do when he really wants something really bad? He might what? Sound that word out. Ba. Ba. It's ba. E. Ga. De. Beg. Beg. Okay, good. What if we change the B in beg to an L? What does it become? Bell. All right. If we change, there's the E-G is still there. So what if we change the B to an L? What does it become? Mm -hmm. oh, it's going to rhyme with that word. Beg rhymes with leg. Leg. Good. All right, let's come down here to this one. What does that look like? He looks like a what? Robber. It's like a robber. And robbers do what? They rob. Rob. They rob. So they might rob the bank. Or they may rob someone's house. Okay, or rob an old lady's purse. Okay, rob. What if we change B? You ready? What if we change the B on the end of rob to a T? Bot? Mm -mm. You're not going to say the B. You're just going to hear R O. So R O says. What? Uh, what's it become? What? Rot. Yeah, so that is. 
A lot of fish. Rotten fish. Yeah, it's 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 rotten. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna delete these. We're gonna delete letters to make a new word. Are you ready? All right. What if, what is this word? Pill. No. Sound it out right here. Don't look at that. Sound it out. P. E. T. P. E. T. Say it again. P. What is it? It's a T pit. on the end. Pit. 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 Say pit. So the center of that avocado is called a pit. All right, what if I take the P away? What's the word become if I take that P away? Bit. If I take the P away and the I and T is left, what is that it. word? What? It. It. Good job. Okay. All right, come to this word. All right. What's that word? Sound that word out. What is that word? Can. Can. All right, it's can. What if I take the C away? What does it become if I take the C away? C. It becomes a what? If I take the uh, C away. Uh, no. Huh? What is it? No, not with a C though. Just A and A and, a and N by itself. I almost said it. What is A and N when they're together by themselves? It's A, 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 All right, what does that become? If I take the C away and it's just A, N, what is that word? Clam. A and N. Sound it out. A, A, N, A, N, A, N, A, 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 N. Like I have an apple. So it would be A, All right, and all right, good job. So we substituted phonemes by changing the T on the end of pot to a P making pop. And we deleted phonemes by getting rid of the P on pit to make the word it. And we were blending phonemes when we did this here, when I said fork, fork, fork was blending phonemes. All right, good job. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to write a word and I'm going to change a letter, kind of like when we deleted and substituted the letters to make a new word. All right, so I'm going to write a word and I'm going to change one of the letters to something else to make a new word. All right, are you ready? And then you'll do it after I do it. So I'm going to do it, then we'll do it together, and then we'll let you do it. Okay, so if I write the word hug, is that hug? Huh, uh, hug. What if I change the H to an M and I make it mm, mug? Mug. All right, good job. All right, what if I have, hmm, what if I have, Tape. All right, if I have the word tape, and I change this T to a C. Tape. Good, you got it. Okay, I'm going to write another word. Let me do one more. All right, what if I have cat, and I change the T to a P. You said change it. If I change the T to a P, it's still ca, but I change the T to a P. Ca. Cap. Cap. Good job. Okay, now I'm going to give you a word and you're going to change it to make it a new word. Are you ready? Okay, here you go. All right, I want you to write fed. Fed. you to change a letter in fed to make it bed. What letter would you change to make it bed? Mm. If you have fed, what letter would you have to change? You have fed. B. Oh, so you'd change what to a B? What would you change? The what? The. You'd have right bed, and let's see which one you had to change. 
Right bed. bed. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. d Which letter did you have to change? The what? The E. So do you have an E? Mm -hmm. Yes, you didn't change that. All right, what did you have to change? Which letter? The D. Did you change the D? Mm -hmm. No. Which letter did you change? The F. The F. You changed the F to a B. B. Good job. All right, now I'm going to give you another word. Are you ready? Not. N not. Uh, not. Uh, 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 uh. Not. not. All right, I want you to change not to lot. What letter would you have to change? E. The N to a what? L. To a L. All right, write lot. lot. So change uh, not uh, to lot. Uh, uh, t. All right. Good job. All right. Now you're going to write a sentence. Are you, you know how to write a sentence? So it starts with a capital uh, letter. And at the end, you have to, you have to add a, a, period. a period. Yeah. Okay, so start right here. All right, I'm going to give you a sentence. You ready? I am am hot and good i am hot hot hot, hot. all right what are you missing on the end a what are you missing at the very end oh, right. you're what you're missing your what at the end of the sentence? You're missing your what? What do you always have to put at the end of the sentence? Yep, you got it. All right, let's look at this. I, that says math. I math hot. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay, let's, I think you need to switch those around. So it's ah, 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 am, am. Good, all right, erase that one. There you go. All right, so does that say I am hot now? I am hot. Good. All right, one more. He. He will. 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 What's his wa? Wa. What's his wa? Will. There you go. Wa. I. I. We. I. Will. Wa. Will he will go? He will go. Go. Oh. He will go. Okay. What did you forget in the front of your at the front of your sentence? Mm -hmm. He will go. What did you forget? What's wrong with your H there? It's got to be what? Tall. Upper. Uppercase. Uppercase. Yes. You got it. Uppercase. All right. And, and then what did you forget on the end? Oh, no, you didn't. You fixed it. All right. He. Leo. Do we hear a little at the beginning of our word? Do we say Leo? He, Leo will go. So do we need that L there? All right. Get rid of that L. All right. He will go. Good job. You got it. All right. Very good. All right. The next thing that we are going to work on is fluency. That I did not even All know that right. I am going to let you read some words for me. Alright. Alright, I want you to read these words for me right here. Alright, those words that are highlighted. It's 
a what? Hen. What's a hen? What's a hen? Hen is. You know what a hen is? A baby chick. Not a baby chick. A hen is a mama chicken. Okay. What's this one? Big. Sound it out. D. A. G. Dug. Dug. Like you dug a hole. All right. What's this one? Good. K. I. D. Kid. Good. You got it. Very good. Great job.